What's up guys, welcome to today's video. This is not the video I expected to be putting out today, but uh, I guess it is what it is. So um, you guys can tell by the title of the video, the SR is not going in the engine bay. We basically realized as of like last night that the cam caps that I used for the SR, um, I didn't know, but you're not supposed to like mix and match cam caps. And I didn't even think about it, but the head that we put on this car was a freshly built head. And the cam caps that I used were for my old engine. And I didn't really think about that when I was putting it together. And then today when we were about to get ready to, you know, we put the trans on, we're gonna drop it in. And then I realized like, are you supposed to do that? And then I checked this exhaust cam from the old engine and it's just like super scored up. And so we pretty much decided that it's not worth breaking or, you know, like ruining my new Tomei cams that I have in there and then sending metal through the whole engine. Um, so we basically decided that I don't, this today's my only day off. Bash is in three days. We leave here to Oregon in three days and like I have to break in this engine still. There's a huge, you know, break in process and all that. And I just don't, there's, it's, it's impossible. I, I can't find new cam caps right now. Um, and, and just doing all that is just going to be too much. So long story short, if you notice, we got the car out of here. Finally, the tube front is done. There's going to be a video about that. I'm um, sorry that it just hasn't lined up correctly with the timing, but we're going to clean this engine bay, get it ready. I'm going to go pull the K out of the shop, bring it in here. And we're pretty much doing a quick afternoon KA swap back into this thing. It's been a year since I pulled the KA. I'd be lying if I said I'm not excited to see it back in the car, so. Right now, Donald is degreasing because there's so much oil all over this engine bay from the SR yes. blowing. It was really bad, so yes. I bought two cans of engine degreaser. Are you already almost done with that can? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna just blast this other can on here and, um, and just pressure wash it, and that should clean it up well enough for now. Obviously, I want to paint the tube front and everything when everything's done, but right now, no time. Transformation video incoming. Make sure you get the support because they're super grimy because oil went everywhere. And if you want, you could do the inside of it. I need to do the control arm. It's going to say the wheel wells, the coil over, everything. There's literally oil in my wheels still. Yeah, he didn't clean them. All right, guys, this is about as good as it's gonna get right now. There's a lot of like just burnt paint in here from just like exhaust and whatever. Um, I would love to actually drop the subframe and like paint all this really nice. And we will once we're ready to put the SR in. But for now, I just want the KA in so I can drive this weekend. I got a couple new parts I'm gonna run, a clutch line and some power steering lines. Never a dull moment. Let me go grab the KA. Um, poor SR. But this is good because I would have definitely heard it if I ran it the way it was. So you know what? We'll come back to you. I love you, but I do kind of miss having a reliable KA. All right, let's go get it. Here she is, baby, in all her glory. I got to reveal that pretty purple valve cover in a second, but we are just kind of gonna spray this thing off a little bit with the pressure washer too because why not it's about to go in and it was pretty dirty bam isr so this is going to be the new clutch line and then these two replace those two power steering hard lines so let's swap those over real quick um i was not able to get those power steering lines off they're super old and i i was like rounding all the little fittings on them and i just didn't want to cause another problem for myself, so I just decided to do the clutch line. So there's the nice yellow clutch line, but we'll just leave the power steering lines. The KA is gonna end up coming back out again, probably after bash at some point, once the SR is ready, I guess. I'm gonna take it out so that I can actually pull the subframe and really get in here and clean it and paint it. I'm gonna pull everything and do it right, paint the whole tube front and everything. For now, I think we're pretty much ready. I was just giving this thing a quick little spot check and dusted it out all inside the intake manifold. There's a bunch of spider webs and crap 
crap just like built up in here from it sitting for so long. I'm pretty excited guys. It's been a long time since I've driven this thing. It was so reliable. I'm just excited to have a solid, you know, seat time car again this weekend because as you guys know, if you've been following along since last year, um, Ever since I pulled this thing, I just have not had a good solid event of being able to drive with the SR and eh, it's kind of a bummer. So I'm excited to get this thing in, go rip it tonight. One more notable cool thing is that I, I honestly forgot, probably six months ago or longer, I bought another engine harness. So the engine harness that I had for the KA was like super trash. It was like cut up and just the um, plug into the dash harness and stuff was like all messed up and missing and it was all hardwired, whatever. It, it was just not good, right? One of my friends in Texas posted this harness for sale and he was like, hey, this is like an OEM harness that I refreshened up with all new plugs and all nice loom and blah, 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 you know? I hit him up and I was like, dude, will you ship it out here for me? We made a deal and so now I have this super nice harness. All the nice plugs are there. Everything's just, it's good. I'm excited. This is gonna make it a lot easier. Got the harness in there. Check it out. I ran the um, harness all through the intake manifold, which is cool because now all you see is the injector clips right there. It's a weird looking uh, saw, isn't it? Yeah, it looks slow. It's gonna be on your door all weekend. I hope. I hope so. Well, not your door. You need to be on my door. <laughs> and then I need to be on your door. Those are the only doors I'm gonna be able to keep up with. She's in, boys. So like a month ago, Ben and I had this conversation, like, hey, at what point are you gonna give up on the SR and put the KA back in? And I was like, yeah, you know, maybe a week before, but then I had no intentions of doing this. Until now. And now here we are. But I'm excited. It's in. I'm gonna put the motor mounts in, tighten them, and then uh, we just gotta get the harness plugged in under the dash and- Barney's about to rip, baby! Man, screw it. Let's take my 242, KA boys. <laughs> All right guys, a little update. I haven't filmed a ton just because, as you guys can imagine, it's been a pretty hectic day. It's about 8 p.m. The KA is in, it looks beautiful. I got the trans mount hooked up, the cross member and everything. Dylan is working on throwing the shifter cover plate on that he took off from my SR trans. Thank you buddy for the help. Donald is painting his wheels and then I am working on a couple of just temporary kind of ghetto mounts Actually, for... I gotta drill out the rivets in my speaker so I can get my dent out. <laughs> Kyle's working on Kyle's, the car? Kyle's prep so far has been turning the car on and letting the battery charge. And then now he's gonna push the dent out in his door and that's it. Maybe, we're gonna see it be hard. He said maybe. Um, anyway, so I made like this little mount right here, just like a piece of metal and the two bolts. Cause uh, let me explain. So this is the radiator from the SR. That's the radiator from the KA, but that fan shroud and fans are from the KA, and one of the fan blades was broken off a long time ago, and it has a pretty violent shake because it's not balanced. So I didn't want to run those fans because there's always the risk of them, you know, breaking off and going into the radiator. So I took this shroud off the SR one, but it doesn't really line up right, and the mount mounting points aren't correct. So um, again, I just made little plates doing that right here. The top is kind of janky. It's just bailing wire because these don't line up enough and I just don't want to try to mess with it anymore. I used to run it on the KA with only bailing wire in all four corners. So I think it should be fine uh, for one event. Uh, this is the wiring harness from the engine bay that I need to run across again and get that all zip tied up and plugged in and stuff. All right, let's keep working. All right guys, I've definitely made some progress, but uh, it looks like a crazy mess and I don't know. Um, Basically one huge issue right now is that because of the tube front, there is like nowhere to bolt stuff because the tubs are cut out, you know? So we're just trying to run the harness and everything and, you know, make mounts for stuff like this that's gonna get killed. Yeah, I'll kind of update you guys as we go. Probably put in a little bit more work tonight. I'm not gonna start it up tonight though, for sure. But uh, we're getting there. All right, guys, welcome to night three of this KA swap, not being as quick as I thought. Uh, last night, I actually didn't end up filming anything. Donald and I were actually out here for like, probably from the time we got off work, like around. Jesus. Okay. I'm still out here, man. I never left. <laughs> uh, he is working on custom, custom making a little exhaust tip for me. Uh, Cause I have to switch exhausts from the SR to the KA. So he's been working on that and I appreciate him. Uh, and then what I was working on last night was kind of finishing wiring some stuff up. 
had to make a couple brackets to hold this up. And then I'm also running a power steering cooler, which ended up becoming the biggest nightmare of my life. And I regret even touching it, but now it's too late. So basically the stock power steering uh, return line goes from uh, down there. It starts off right here and then it goes up and then it goes across the subframe back and then into the uh, reservoir right here from this hose. But when you run a cooler, what you do is take that line off, replace it with a fitting. And then that way I can just run a hose to the fitting up here to my cooler, you know, out of the cooler and then to the reservoir. Well, what ended up happening is the threads in the rack where the fitting needs to go in order for me to run that line got messed up or were messed up already. And basically the new AN fitting that I bought to thread in there would not thread in. And I'd already taken the old one out and cut it to get it out. So anyway, long story short, I had to basically cross thread in that nice new fitting. I'm just like fingers crossed it's not gonna leak. It's on the return side, so it's low pressure. I just wish I didn't even touch it, but anyway, it's too late. Three eighths line, bam. Uh, they only had like not even six feet of it, so I really hope it's enough because I gotta make two lines. But just in case it's not enough, I bought this because I do have, you know, a foot of line right here that I can attach together with this one. Oh, she wanted to. It feels really shaky. Oh. Hey, that's not bad. That's kind of smooth. Oh, a little shaky. Very tractory. No. no. Grab that, grab that. Dude, it sounded smooth for a second and then it got rough again. Yeah, it's hella rough. All right guys, well, she started and it ended up dying, but um, I came and I just double checked a couple things. We didn't have this ground done and uh, I added this little ground and I think that helped, but also I think the fuel pressure regulator lines are backwards. Um, we just noticed when we fired it up again, it sounded a lot smoother, but the line right here was like pulsing super hard. I don't really know what that means, but I'm gonna try swapping the lines on the fuel pressure regulator. And it also shows zero pressure, which obviously it's not at zero. So let's undo this. It's probably gonna spray fuel everywhere. Oh God. Hey, while I do this, show them the um, uh, power steering cooler. Oh my God, guys, come check it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, no, it came out pretty mad decent. It's very haggard garage. This whole swap right now is haggard garage. For yeah, now we got fuel pressure, baby. 42 PSI, oh, let's go, baby. I told you it was backwards. At least it started up, baby. Now, before I blow it, because there's no radiator or fluid in it, let's do that. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> All right, guys, it is 1 a.m. We have been at this for a while now, obviously. It runs, it sounds good. We just finished bleeding the clutch. We finished bleeding the power steering. And I think, guys, I don't want to jinx it, but I think I'm safe and it's not, you can't even see it, but I think it's not leaking down there at that blue fitting which would be a very big blessing. Uh, I'm gonna get this video edited and pretty much the next video is gonna be, I think once we're actually in Oregon. Yeah, also guys, if you haven't subscribed to Donald's YouTube channel yet, like what the hell are you guys doing? So please, we are a combo team of YouTubers here. So um, you need to subscribe to the Drift Realm as well as my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Um, but anyway guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. This was the craziest last couple of days from not being able to use my brand new freshly built SR to putting my old trusty KA back in and then realizing that um, there was a lot more work involved in just getting this back up and running, whether it was KA or SR. So obviously this was easier. Um, anyway, so I got a lot more work to do, even though the car runs at this point, I still have a lot to do tomorrow and Thursday we leave, Tonight, tonight's Tuesday night. So it's gonna be a stressful next couple of days. It's been a stressful last several weeks, but anyway. It's all gonna be worth it, right bud? We're gonna have a great time. I'm tired.
we're ready to drive. It's 1 a.m. We both we both have work tomorrow, so we're gonna go to bed. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.